So we're looking at converting improper fractions to mixed numbers, and how do we know that this is an improper fraction? Because the numerator is greater than the right. denominator. Yeah, the numerator is greater than the denominator. So when we have a fraction, we know that this also this um, line here also means division, right? So we can read this as 62 eighths or 62 divided by 8. So that will help you turn this into a mixed number. We want to know how many times does 8 go into 62, okay? So it's not going to be an even number of times. That's why we're going to have a mixed number. So let's write the multiples of 8 because that will help you to start. We'll count by 8s. 8, 16, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 56, Good. 64. Good. We'll stop there because we know that um, we're taking 62 and dividing it by 8. So let's see. 8 goes into 62. How many times, according to, how many, how many multiples do we have until we don't pass the number 62? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It can't go into it 8 times because that number is greater than the numerator, right? So we can... 8 goes into 62 7 times, okay? Well, what's 8 times 7? 56. 56. So we have to figure out how many do we have left over from 62. So let's do 62, take away 56, because we still have some parts left over, right? So it's 62, take away 56. We need to borrow from here. 12, take away 6. 6. Good. So there's six parts left over, right? Because 56 plus 6 is 62. We don't have enough to get to 64, right? So we have seven holes and six eighths left over. But that's not in lowest terms, right? This is a mixed number, but we always want to put our fractions into lowest terms. How do I know that this is not in lowest terms? Because there's a number that both 8 and 6 are divisible by. Good. And what is the number that they're both divisible by? 2. Good. So we can reduce this into a smaller fraction. So we still have our 7 holes. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. three and 8 divided by 2 is 4. four. So 7 and 3 quarters is our answer. We're going to check our answer, though, just to make sure. Okay, so we'll do it properly. So we had 62 eighths. We're, we, we are saying that that's equal to 7 and 3 quarters. So we're going to check to see that if we turn 7 and 3 quarters into an improper fraction, we need to make sure we get back to the original answer. Okay. So how do we turn a mixed number into an improper fraction? Do you remember? You multiply the, the whole number by the denominator Good. and the, the numerator. Good. We're going to multiply this. And then we add the numerator. So 7 times 4? 28. 28 plus 3 is 31. 31 over 4. Well, the original question was 62 over 8. Is that the same fraction? No. But are they equivalent? No. Uh, let's check. 31 over 4 should be the same as 62 over 8 if this answer is correct, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we let's find a common denominator. Yeah, what can we multiply by? 2. If I multiply the denominator by 2 to get 8, what do I have to do to the numerator? Multiply by 2. And what is 31 times 2? 62. What is 4 times 2? 8. So this is equivalent. The reason why we didn't get back to the original question is because we used our lowest terms. So this is actually the answer of 62 over 8 in lowest terms as well. If we look at the first answer we got that wasn't in lowest terms, let's look at that one. So we had, originally we had 7 and 6 eighths before we reduced it. Well, let's check to see if this is equal to 62 over 8. So once again, we're going to multiply the denominator by the whole number. And what's 7 times 8? 54. I lost it. Uh, 56 plus 6, oops, what's 56 plus 6? 62. 62, and we write the denominator that we already have, and it's 62 over 8. So we just found that 62 over 8 
is equal to 7 and 6 eighths, which is also equal to 7 and 3 quarters, which is also equal to 31 over 4. Made with DoodleCast Pro.